Dr. Fauci, do you know Sylvia Burwell? I do. Who's that? Sylvia Burwell is the former secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services and the current president of American University. Uh, did she email you in February of 2020 asking whether she should wear a mask as she was traveling in the airport in the early stages of the uh, pandemic? Judge uh, speculative. Sylvia uh, has, over the past couple of years, um, asked me advice about personal safety during the COVID-19 pandemic. And in particular, in February of 2020, did she email you and say, I am traveling to Redacted. Folks are suggesting I take a mask for the airport. Is this something I should do? Objection, lack of foundation. You know, I don't recall specifically that. I, I, I do know that Sylvia has called me over the last couple of years asking me questions about health. I don't specifically recall that. Do you recall writing this in response? Masks are really for infected people to prevent them from spreading infection to people who are not infected, rather than protecting uninfected people from acquiring infection. The typical mask you buy in the drugstore is not really effective in keeping out virus, which is small enough to pass through material. It might, however, provide some slight benefit in keep out gross droplets if someone coughs or sneezes on you. I do not recommend that you wear a mask, particularly since you're going to a low-risk location. Do you recall writing that? I vaguely recall talking to her about certain safety issues regarding masks. Do you specifically recall recommending that she not wear a mask as she's traveling during when, that? If that's an accurate, I mean, you're asking me if I recall. <laughs> yeah, I don't recall. I mean, these things, thousands of things happen. If you show me an email that has my name and the proper identification and I said that I would not argue with you it would not be out of the question um, bottom line we don't have to worry about this one right well I you know obviously you need to take it seriously and do the kinds of things that the CDC and the Department of Homeland Security are doing but this is not a major threat for the people in the United States and this is not something that the citizens of the United States right now should be worried about. So if you have a physical covering with one layer, you put another layer on, it just makes common sense that it likely would be more effective. And that's the reason why you see people either double masking or doing a version of an N95. Uh, I can say as a public health official that I would urge the leaders, the local political and other leaders in states and cities and towns to be as forceful as possible in getting your citizenry to wear masks. Masks are important as part of the physical distance. Physical distancing is the most important, but practically when you're living your life and trying to open up the country, you are gonna come into contact with people. And for that reason, we know that masks are really important and we should be using them, everyone. <laughs> Right now in the United States, people should not be walking around with masks. Right now, people should not be walking. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. When you're in the middle of an outbreak, wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better, and it might even block a, a droplet, but it's not providing the perfect protection that people think that it is. You know, it might, I mean, if you really want perfect protection, of your mucosal surfaces, just for your, your, your audience, Jen, as you very well will know, you have mucosa in the nose, mucosa in the mouth, but you also have mucosa in the eye. And that's one of the things that, you know, theoretically you should protect all the mucosal surfaces. So if you have goggles or an eye, face or an eye shield, you should use it. I mean, uh, it's not universally recommended, but if you really wanna be complete, you should probably use it if you can. It's just that it's so easy for people to just make a cloth mask. That even if you are vaccinated, it is recommended that you follow the public health recommendations of wearing a mask, staying distant, avoiding congregate settings and crowds, and washing your hands often. So you could get infected and have absolutely no symptoms, but you might have virus in your nasopharynx even though you don't have any symptoms. So you wanna make sure that you do something like wear a mask, 
like keep your distance so you don't inadvertently infect someone else. What about a month or so or two or three ago when people were saying, you don't really need to wear a mask? Well, the reason for that is that we were concerned, the public health community, and many people were saying this, were concerned that it was at a time when personal protective equipment, including the N95 masks and the surgical masks, were in very short supply. And we wanted to make sure that the people, namely the healthcare workers, who were brave enough to put themselves in a harm way to take care of people who you know were infected with the coronavirus and the danger of them getting infected, we did not want them to be without the equipment that they needed. So there was not enthusiasm about going out and everybody buying a mask or getting a mask. We were afraid that that would deter away from the people who really needed it. I have so many questions to ask you, as uh, you can imagine. But first off, it's been 24 hours since you got the Moderna vaccine. How are you feeling? Any side effects? Is your arm sore? Well, I actually feel quite good. I do have a little bit of a sore arm. After the vaccination, uh, it was about maybe six to eight hours. I felt absolutely nothing. And then towards the late afternoon, I started to get soreness in the arm. This is very typical of vaccinations. The same thing happened with other non-COVID vaccines that I've had over the years. I felt a little bit achy, but nothing to be bothering or distracting me. Went to bed last night, had a good night's sleep. Woke up this morning. The only thing I have is just a little bit of a soreness in the arm. Otherwise, I'm doing really well. Less than 24 hours after the Omaha City Council voted to extend the city's mask mandate until February, two anti-mask billboards were spotted in Omaha near the corner of 132nd and Millard Avenue and at 144th and Industrial Road. Many snap photos of the signs were stated, it's not about a virus, it's about control. Some on social media encouraged others to call Link Media Outdoors, the company which owns the billboards, to demand the signs be taken down to take it down earlier today, but the founder of No Mask Omaha tells me they just wanted to spread their message to even more people, but others say that message will spread the virus even more. The effectiveness of a mask doesn't make sense. Messages in Millard on a pair of billboards it says it's not about the virus, it's about control. Nobody likes these masks. Kelly Jensen is the founder of the Facebook group No Mask Omaha. Some of the 5,400 members pitched in and paid for the billboards. The same group criticizes the mask mandate at city council meetings. From our standpoint, it, it really doesn't have anything to do with the effectiveness of the mask. It has to do how far can they push their control onto the public. I don't understand why it's okay to to spread this misinformation so that people don't take it seriously so that people die. Andrew Fansulo drove by the billboard Wednesday morning about an hour after getting an upsetting text from his father. My grandma had just got moved back to the ICU. I was angry that he had to see that on the same day that we got terrible news about his grandma. Fansulo's 92-year-old grandmother, Millie, has COVID-19. She's been in the hospital since Saturday. I was angry that somebody thought that that was okay to put up. Um, and I was just baffled that a group of people that's about 5,000 plus can possibly think that way. I just had COVID uh, two weeks ago, so I understand it. I also have, you know, a lot of medical um, underlying conditions. Jensen says he only wore a mask on Halloween and doesn't plan to again. He says wearing one, going into a restaurant only to remove it to eat, does not work. And everybody makes jokes about this, about how silly this is. And as for the public pressure to take down those billboards. Talk about being silenced, right? It's not about, not about the mask, right? It's about control, right? That's exactly the point of the billboard.